The powder is one of the most easiest ways to create stunning manicures. But did you know that dip nails can also be extremely long-lasting and durable? That's why in this video, we're going to share with you 8 tips to make your dip powder manicures more durable and long-lasting. Tip number 1 is to properly prep and clean your nails before applying your dip powder. To prep your nails for dip powder, you need to first use a cuticle pusher to gently push back your cuticles. This allows the dip powder to adhere to your natural nails and not to the cuticle themselves. Next, use a 180 grit nail file to gently file your nails. This roughens up your nails to allow the dip powder to grip onto them better. And finally, wipe your nails clean with a cotton pad soaked with rubbing alcohol. Tip number two is to always use a dehydrator and a nail primer. Dehydrators and nail primers are commonly used for acrylic and gel applications, but they can also be used to extend the lifespan for dip powder nails and significantly reduce the chances of them lifting. Nail primers help to roughen up the surface of the nail plate to make the base and the dip powder adhere better. The dehydrator removes most of the oil and moisture from your nails, allowing the base to bond better with the nail plate. Dehydrators and nail primers are easy to use. Once your nails are prepped, just apply a coat of the dehydrator and let it dry. Then apply a coat of the nail primer. You can check out the description for our recommended dehydrator and nail primers to use. Tip number three is to apply your dip powder correctly. You need to apply your dip powder correctly for them to be durable and long-lasting. To do so, you need to follow each step for your dip powder system and use all of the required coats during the application process. If you skip any of the steps, your dip powder nails won't last very long. Now, when applying dip powder nails, I highly recommend one, that you work on one nail at a time. This allows you to be more in control and precise. Two, as soon as you apply the base coat on your nails, you need to apply the powder. The base is the glue and if you wait too long to start, it will dry out and won't hold the powder. And three, once you have applied the powder, wait 30 seconds for it to hold on to the nails before moving on to the next step. Tip number four is that you need to allow the activator to dry before applying the top coat. If you don't do this, then the dip powder would not cure completely. I recommend waiting about 20 to 30 seconds for it to dry, but you can just tap the nails to see if they are solid enough before applying the top coat. Tip number five is to invest in a premium brand dip powder. Not all brands are the same. Some brands use really high quality ingredients to make their dip powder, and these brands tend to be more water resistant, long lasting, and durable. You can check out the description for my recommended brand of dip powder. Tip number six is to use a gel top coat. If you have a UV or LED lamp, then I highly recommend that you use a good gel top coat over your dip powder instead of just a regular top coat. This is because the top coat acts as a seal that protects against water and other chemicals that might permeate the dip powder. The top coat also works as a shield protecting the nails from getting easily scratched and damaged. Gel top coats are the best top coats and this is because they are extremely long lasting, durable, water resistant, and they look more glossy in comparison to regular top Top coats. The only drawback with gel top coats for dip nails is that you will need to gently file your dip nails before applying it. Tip number seven is to wear gloves. Constant exposure to hot water, detergents, and harsh chemicals such as bleach, pesticides, and even alcohol can over time cause serious wear and tear to your dip powder nails. The easiest way to avoid this is to wear gloves when you know that your nails will be exposed to these kinds of harsh environments. And finally, tip number eight is to reapply the top coat. The top coat is the first layer that starts to wear away, which is why I recommend that you reapply a layer of your top coat at least once a week. This helps to keep the nails protected and also keeps them looking extra glossy. All of Easy Nail Tech's videos and articles are crafted by nail technicians dedicated to helping you learn how to DIY amazing manicures at home. And one of the easiest ways that you can help us is by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Thank you very much!